Today, I'll show you how to do your Kraken crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly. Welcome back to another wallet integration video. This is obviously a wallet I've covered in the past, but there's been some minor changes here and there. So I'd like to, guys, uh, I'd like to update you guys on the latest and greatest with Kraken. So I'll tell you a little bit about this very, very popular exchange if you haven't already heard or know about them, I guess. Then I'll jump into the very simple integration, which like I said, not changing too much from the last time we've done this. Um, so don't worry too much about it. And then I'll jump into how to get the necessary tax documentation. And lastly, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, I'll leave a bunch of different resources down below. So Kraken was founded actually in 2011 and it's based out of San Francisco. It is a top five exchange by trading volume probably making it one of the most popular exchanges on the planet. It has a wealth of features from spot trading to staking to uh, NFT marketplace, which is coming soon. And it's really interesting to see where this platform goes from here. Okay, so that's enough about them. Let's jump into the integration part of this video. Log into your Coinline account. If you don't have one, don't worry. You can create one completely free and follow along until the very end. So anyways, go into your wallets area, click on add wallet. We're gonna type in Kraken. And there it is. So we have two different options. I'll show you both. First, starting off with the setup auto sync, so the API keys, and then I'll jump into the um, SCV option. So you have two different um, routes you can take. Um, the one note here that it says you need to grant all query permissions. So I'll obviously show you how to do that. So on their platform, in the top right corner, go uh, to your account, click from the drop down menu, and we wanna click on security. Uh, from this drop down menu, we want to click API and then we're going to create a new key. I'm going to remove this old one actually because I don't need it anymore. We're going to create a new key, so add key. And then here I'll tell you exactly which ones you want to make sure are selected. Okay, so the ones that we want to make sure are checked is query funds, query closed orders and trades, query ledger entries, and export data. Um, if you'd like to give this key a different name, you can do that, but they already give you an auto generated one. Um, IP whitelisting, key expiration, query start uh, date slash time, uh, and end date is not really important. You can mess around with those settings if you'd like on um, your own account, but it's not necessary for this. So then we're gonna click on generate key. And here it is at the very top, here is our API key. So let's copy and paste that here. And then here is our private key. Let's copy and paste that here and then click uh, secure import. And there you have it. So that's one route you can take. Another one is with the CSV files. So once again, we're gonna click on add wallet and then we're gonna find Kraken. And this time we're gonna click import from file. And let me show you where to get that on their platform. So on their platform, you're gonna go to history, which is in the top part of um, the browser. And then you're gonna click on export. And from this drop down menu, we're gonna select ledgers. Now, uh, it depends how long you've been using Kraken, but you want to make sure you get your entire transaction history. So from the first day you were using Kraken to whatever you know tax year you're currently doing um, your taxes. So for example, for this, I'm going to just choose the you know last uh, year. So that includes you know everything from January. Actually, I'll make sure that it does here. So January 1st until whatever today's date is. Actually, today is November um, the 14th. So we're going to go and click that. So November the 14th. So that includes my history from the beginning of the year to today's date. Uh, like I said, if you've been using this platform for many years, make sure to get your entire transaction history. And the reason this is important for Coinly is because we need to be able to calculate your capital gains and losses. And you know, if we don't have your entire transaction history, we won't be able to do that. So once you've set up the date correctly, according to your needs, click submit. And then um, you'll take a few seconds for this file to be generated. Once it's ready, it'll say process and then you can simply click download and you'll get a zip of this file. So from here, you're gonna find a way to export um, this file to unzip it. So look online, there's plenty of different options uh, for free um, zip, unzip software. So take that file, drag and drop it into Coinly and click import. And once again, it's very simple. There you have it. You have two different routes to import your data into Coinly. Once you're happy with everything you see there, head over into your transactions area, uh, making sure that everything is sitting correctly with you. If you have any staking, which you know you can definitely do on Kraken, make sure your staking transactions are tagged correctly. So send to pool, sent from pool. I've made videos on that as well. Um, and once you're happy with that, go into the tax reports area and here you get one final summary of your crypto activity throughout the year and you know exactly where your taxes are going to end up. 
And once you're happy with that, scroll down and select a tax report appropriate for your needs. And tax reports, we have a plenty. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D, Form 8949. You can also export to TurboTax, both online and desktop versions. We have reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia, and then lastly, Canada, Germany, and other countries. We have the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you can give directly to an accountant, and they will combine it with your other tax documentation to submit. Or alternatively, you can invite them to Coinly to set up their accountancy firm here with us. And then lastly, check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that'll do it for today's video. If you have any further questions, I'm going to leave a bunch of different resources down below, starting off with the Coinly Help Center with countless different crypto tax related articles. We have a forum section where you talk to members of our community as well as our staff. We have a feedback section if you're having any issues with our software. And then lastly, we have a contact section. If you'd like to send us a message directly, we'd love to help you out. But if you found this video helpful, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.